Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk about my Merch by Amazon Tier 10 Strategy Part 2. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this video, Merch by Amazon Tier 10 Strategy Part 2. You're gonna to wanna to stay to the end of this one. I got a lot of information on this video, including uploads, how to do keywords and how to promote your stuff, as well as another edition of trend credits at the end of this video. So you wanna to stay till the end. But before we start, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Juna. I'm a t-shirt designer, graphic designer. I design and sell t-shirts online. And my channel's all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. So if that's what you like to do, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like if it brings you value. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified of my next video. So here we are, Merch by Amazon, Tier 10 Strategy Part 2. I wanna go through some things first before I teach you about uploads, and that is my progress on the Tier 10 Challenge update. Last week, I showed you that I'm gonna try and do the same things that you do. If I was around Tier, tier 10, how would I do it and upload 10 different designs, one at a time, just like if I was on Tier 10. So here I am. Um, this is my update so far. I added my first thing here. I'm using this help sheet, that free download that I shared last week. I'm using it too. And you can see on the 8th, I actually sold three shirts. So on 3N, you can see here, this is where you mark when you have sales. So you can see, check, check, check. I mark three. I have seven more that I have to sell before I can get out of tier 10. And these are the three that I sold. And just to be transparent, I'll show you the ones that I uploaded so you can see here, this is the one I sold. I, I have it on black, but I put it on this color because that's the color that sold. And then these are some of the other ones that I did, you saw in my thing. Uh, so this is what I have so far. You notice that none of them are just text t-shirts. I, I said in my last video, don't just do text t-shirts. Put some kind of graphic, even though this is text heavy, there's still some graphics on it. So you can see all of them, this one too, um, mainly text, but there's still some kind of graphic element. So that's what I would suggest. Let me get into what to teach you for the next part of this video. Um, we're going to talk about upload keywords and how to promote. Free ways to promote. Of course, you could always use ads, but I'm going to try and tell you some free ways to promote. Since when you're in tier 10, you probably don't have a lot of money that you want to spend. So we're trying to do some of these free ways. So first, uploads. When you upload and create products, um, there are several things that you need to pick on there when you create products. And I'm going to go through all those steps. The best way to go through all of those is to actually go online into Merch or Merch by Amazon uh, on the Create tab, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are on the Create tab in Merch by Amazon. You can see this is what it looks like. You have all these products. The first thing we need to do is select what product we want to do. So when you're on Tier 10, I would suggest to turn all of these off here. Let me turn it off. There's an easy way to do that. I guess you can do that. And only select standard shirt at .com. So that's the only one we're gonna do because we can only upload one at a time and that's the, the best selling or your best chance of selling a shirt is to sell it on a standard t-shirt. So let's hit continue. You can see everything else is disabled that's the only thing here. So next thing you want to do is upload your artwork. You do that by clicking here and then pick your artwork and make sure that it's the right size. The size that it needs to be is 4,500 pixels by 5,400. The next thing is to select fit types. I would choose all the fit types. That doesn't matter as much. I mean, you if you are going to do something that has uh, adult related themes, maybe beer, alcohol, some kind of bad words or something, you cannot click use because it will get rejected. So just keep that in mind. And then the next thing is just choose dark colors. You want to do black. Dark Heather is a good one. Navy is a great one. Anything else that's dark, up to you. As long as you have those three, I would suggest, you know, make sure that it works well with your design. So if it doesn't look good in green, don't put it there. If it doesn't look good in olives, don't use it. So, all right, so that's colors. And then price. I would suggest that you do $13.99 or lower. So you can do, I think, $13.50, which will give you a $0.33. Cents. 
1320 give you 10 cents I like just 1399 just to keep it easy and round it um, whoops not 1300 1399 there we go 70 cent profit fine we on the tier 10 we're not here to make money we're here to make sales so you want to get as many sales as you can so you can move to the next tier to the next tier to the next tier there's that um, let's clear this and then the next things you want to do is product details, product features, bullet points. We're going to go over how to find keywords for that. But basically, the title is the title of your shirt. You want to use long tail keywords for that one. And then featured bullets, bullets, and description. You notice these are not required. These two are. So you could get away with not putting those in. And then the last thing here, product availability on Amazon. You want to do this searchable. It's that by default. The only reason you would use non-searchable if you don't want the whole public to see your stuff. So maybe it's something for your family. Maybe it's something for a special group. Maybe it's something for, maybe you did a, a thing for a restaurant and they don't want to be public, but they want to buy their stuff on, on Amazon. That's when you would do this. Um, and then you can save these published settings so that you can do it again. You don't need to do that since you're only uploading one at a time. This is really good if you're going to upload you know, scalable designs that kind of have the same details and features and colors and all of that. So that's it. All right. So let me show you a little bit about product title. I'm going to go into Amazon and show you what I mean by long tail keywords. So here we are on Amazon. What I mean by long tail keywords is when you type in the autocomplete or in the search for Amazon, let's say what, wait, what the, you can see right here, this, 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 they are all long tail keywords that you can use. So let's check this one, for example. You can see all of these t-shirts use that at the beginning. You can see right here, well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Well, it's used here in their brand here. And there it is at the beginning, at the beginning. So use that long tail keyword when people search that that's what they're mainly going to search for on amazon i would put that at the very beginning of the title and then after you can put some other um, keywords you can see here this person did it with that and then cactus and then succulents and then gardening um, you can see here as well here as well so that's kind of how you do it for the for the title and then for the brand you can see a lot of them are not using just their brand name, they're using it for keywords too. So right here, a bunch of keywords that make a brand, a bunch of keywords that make the brand. So just another way to add keywords to your product. And you may be wondering how to find more keywords. Well, one way to find more keywords is to look at other people's listing. So you can see here, that's keyword, 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 keyword. Right, just look at other people's listing. You can also dig down into it to some other people's listings. So let's look at this one, for example. They also have keywords here, lover, you know, Christmas, gardening, things like that. Um, this one is describing there is a retro sunset. So they put something like that, retro sunset, um, cactus, trendy. So if you're describing uh, keywords, describe your design as well as who's gonna wear the design, who is this for, where you would you wear it, that kind of thing. So keep those things in mind. I'm gonna show you another way using Merchant Former on how to find keywords as well. So here I am in Merchant Former. If you don't have this, I have a link in the description for 20% off. They're actually having a good sale right now, so now's the time to get it. Q4, they always do that. Anyway, um, for keywords, you may think keyword finder. What I'm gonna use is actually product search. So I'll show you why. When you hit product search here and then do what the, there, and then let's give it a little while before it goes. You can see I already did it here. So here's some of the keywords that come up with it. There's three pages. So it's it should load it their stuff too, like other people's designs. But you can see right here, here's the, some of the keywords. This is just telling you how many times these keywords were used with these products. So you can see cactus, there's a keyword, gardening, there's a keyword. And so the top ones are kind of the ones you wanna make sure that you use. 
in your details, your description, your brand, all of this stuff. So just take a look at it. It's, it's updating as it's adding more and more products. So you can see some of the ones, just in case you, you didn't find some of these, this is another good way to find more keywords, more relevant keywords. And you might wanna use, make sure you use the top one. Of course, they need to be related to your stuff. So 50%, I probably wouldn't use in mine. Retro, my design wasn't a retro design, so don't do that. Uh, I wouldn't do that um, and things like that. So just make sure that these things are relative or related to your design. Uh, don't just put things that don't make sense with your design. So if somebody's looking for a vintage thing and yours not isn't vintage, don't put vintage in there, all right? So now let me show you after I get all these keywords, how I put them into my listing. So now that you have all your keywords, let's say these are all the keywords that you found right here. Um, let's start putting them into your design titles. You can see I use that long tail keyword here, my design title, and then I added more keywords here. And then for my brand, I decided to use other keywords. You can see right here. And then for the bullets and description, make sure your keywords are in sentences. So Merch by Amazon doesn't want you to just list a bunch of keywords. They want it to be readable. So here I added a sentence, wear it while gardening keyword, or take care of your, or taking care of your cactus and succulents, two keywords, perfect for men and women who love plants, right? So lots of keywords. And you can see here, I also made other sentences with keywords. The keywords are underlined here. So that's kind of how you do it. Not very hard, just take some time to think of sentences that use the keywords that you found, very easy. So next thing you wanna do or we wanna talk about is we talked about uploading, we talked about keywords. Let's talk a little bit about promotion. That's the next thing, how to promote your stuff for free. I'm gonna show you a few ways to do that. Obviously there's lots of other ways to do that, but I'll show you a few that you can do right away once you get your stuff up on Merch. So here we are on Merch. I uploaded my shirt. You can see this shirt that I showed you earlier. I priced it $13.99. You can see I have the bullets and the brand and everything. One quick way to promote it is right here, share. Amazon already has a share feature. You can share by email, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Uh, if you don't have any of those three, make sure to open those up. They're free social media sites. Uh, doesn't cost anything and you can go and promote your stuff right there from the app. Let me show you how to do one real easy. I'll do Pinterest. And it's just gonna ask me where do I want to put this. I have several boards here on Pinterest and I can do, you know, uh, is this a Halloween group tea or make different groups and I just save it and pin it to there. Let's see, I think I have one for Amazon, detour shirts on Amazon, save it. And there you go, that easy, very easy. So. Um, the same thing is with Twitter and Facebook. Twitter is just the same thing. Hit Twitter, opens up your Twitter account. It adds it, adds it here. You hit tweet, boom, it adds it right there in your story so people can see it free. Doesn't cost you anything. So that's a few ways that you can promote. Just use the share feature on Amazon. I'm gonna show you another way to promote and I'm gonna do that with Instagram. So here we are on Instagram. This is my page, Detour Shirts. One way you can do it, uh, one way you can promote your stuff is to do a post of your t-shirts. So you can see here, I'm doing posts of my t-shirts. Um, I'm not putting it all the time though. Make sure that you don't just promote your t-shirts and promote your t-shirts. Your Instagram profile should be something that's valuable. Maybe if your store is all about, you know, kayaking or stuff, maybe put pictures of kayaking or different things of uh, places where you can kayak and then put a shirt or something like that. You can see not every post of mine is a shirt. And I'm using place it for mock-ups so it, it looks like it's on somebody, somebody's wearing it. This is fake. I'm just you know putting my design on somebody here. So place it's really good for that. I have links in my description on how to do that and videos on how to do that. The other thing is hashtag. So you can search here for hashtags. Let's say the thing that, oh, let's do a hashtag, hashtag. Um, let's see if the phrase that I have on this t-shirt is on here. Yes, it is. You can see other people are posting that too. So these people, um, 
that maybe think that's funny would want to see it or you can share it with other people that do their version of it too so um, that's another way just look for the hashtag that's in the title of your shirt or part of the title of your shirt those keywords that you're using use those keywords as hashtags in your post all right I'm going to show you one more way to promote for free this one's kind of tough not everyone can use this but certain people and certain designs will work well with this promotion so one more way to promote your stuff is to find websites that actually promote designs there's lots of them out there this is one of them this is called shirtoid I hope I'm saying that right shirtoid um, but I, I've used this before mainly these are for really graphic t-shirts or well-designed graphic t-shirts you can see here that a lot of good artists post on here the way you can do it is you can scroll up here and submit and there's a way for you to submit your things but just be warned it says right here please note that we do not accept every single submission so only a few end up here if yours passes then this is a great way they have a big presence on Instagram as well as their own website they get lots of traffic and there's other sites like this you can do a search in Google also another way is blogs there are some blogs that do the same thing where they highlight different shirts and things like that so do a search on the internet for t-shirt blogs or blogs maybe that like we did that um, cactus those succulents maybe there's blogs about succulents and they would like to promote your shirt so things like that that you can do for free so that's how you promote or those are some ways that you can promote and let's recap so just to recap upload you want to make sure you upload just to dark shirts make sure you do use the right keywords we talked about how to find those keywords and promote don't just leave your stuff on there there's lots of different ways where you can promote for free using social media and blog sites and places like that so that is it that's my strategy part two thanks so much for staying till the end of this video hope that this video is very helpful for you if it was make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and now another edition of trend credits Thanks for staying till the end for this another edition of Trend Credits. Here's your trend today. Cookie Baking Crew. So you can see the BSRs are here, kind of low. Um, not a lot of competition, under 47. But as we get into the holidays, I'm sure there's going to be more and more holiday cookie baking. And so this is probably going to get more higher and higher. And people love to stay together as families and cook. And so just think around this, you know, staying home, Staying home and cooking together as a family may not have to be cookie baking crew, can be holiday cooking, can be dinner cooking, Thanksgiving, that kind of thing around that. Think about baking and cooking and, and things like that for your trends. Uh, let's look at Merchant Former. Cookie Baking Crew is getting an A. Again, I have a code for Merchant Former in the description if you want to get that. So that is the trend for today. Cookie Baking Crew try that out of course make your own design for it don't copy these designs think of other things that you can do as well don't you don't necessarily have to do the same phrase you can think about other things about baking or cookies or holidays so thanks so much for staying to the end thanks for watching this video hope this video brought you lots of value don't forget to like and subscribe and as always guys keep creating and keep learning till the next one bye